how's it going guys it's your boy Jeremy's back here again one more time with another video and today I'm just gonna fix my bike which I've crashed and nearly died on it and hopefully yeah today I'm just gonna try to fix it and maybe get back on the road and riding again but as for now my bike is stored in the shed which I'm gonna open and fix it so let's begin this video and let's get the bike fixed up so let's go So guys, basically this is the bicycle that I actually <laughs> crashed and actually nearly died on. As you can see, uh, it's quite it's quite fucking clean because I actually cleaned it before making this video. So it would look a bit, you know, mint. Mint thing is it's not mint, but anyway, I did actually crash this bike. That's why the wheel is missing and the back wheel is missing as well. So I definitely need to put them together. So. Uh, the old wheels here yeah, actually, I actually lost them and got damaged when I actually crashed. So I just ordered some used ones from eBay and they're actually in the shed which uh, I will get them out soon. And we actually need to attach them on here and on the back. And then I have to just uh, put the brakes back on, both of them, the rear ones and the front ones. And then I think we would be ready to go and then we have to put the chain back on onto the thing here. And then I think we should be ready to go. And I don't know how long <laughs> this is gonna take, but I'm just gonna give it a go. But anyway, uh, let's get the tires on and the brakes and whatever. Yes. So yeah, we got the tires on. And as you can see, this is the front tire. And I already fitted this already yesterday <laughs> for some reason. And this is this just goes up here in the front. And then we got the rear tires, which I actually didn't fit. As you can see, the rubber is still here. And where's the rim? And that's the rim over here, which I'll have to fit. And I need an inner tube, which I got inside my house. And anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna fit those and see how it goes. Hopefully very well. And this actually goes to the rear and this goes to the front. So let's see what happens. So guys, we're just hammering this thing in <laughs> to make it stick faster. So, uh, let's go. And now I'm just gonna do it to the other side. Oh. Yeah, I think I think that's quite cool, good now. I think. Right. Yeah, seems decent. It's not falling off. Now I just have to attach the brakes that are just down here. And then let's see, but uh, I'll do that a bit later on. But now let, let me fit in the inner tube on my rear tire, which is down here. And it hasn't got anything, no inner tube or anything. Yeah, that just that's got a rim in this. And yeah, let's do that right now. So, guys, before actually putting on the inner tube, I've, I honestly just checked the tire, the, the, the rubber part. And actually, I just check for any, uh, what do you call it, any sharp objects that actually is actually lurking somewhere in the rim. So it's best to check that or else your new inner tube just gonna dig a hole inside your inner tube and it'll be gone. So it's not gonna be new. But anyway, just check for any sharp objects in your tire before installing the inner tube. So yeah, guys, after just checking the tire, just put the inner tube on and you'll be fine. <laughs> So actually, this is an old inner tube. So yeah, it's actually not, not that good. And yes, it's actually got a puncture inside. And this is my proper old 
inner tube so we don't need it just stick it outside but then you got this one which is proper brand new and that's the one that you actually need and it's actually a proper clean so yeah let's fit this in Uh, so yeah guys now just uh, inflate the inner tube just a little bit but not too much and then uh, I think it just attached the rim but anyway don't inflate it way too much just a little bit So yeah guys, now that you got the inner tube done and sorted, just get your rim and your wheel and just attach them together, as you can see now. So now just get your inner tube and try to stick it inside. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be difficult. Uh, so guys, after a couple of minutes of actually fiddling around with this to actually align it, now we can finally use the pump and inflate the tire. And actually, in here it says uh, PSI from 40 to 65, so we just do 40. So let's go. <laughs> One second. Yeah, and that's 40 PSI. And uh, now, hold on, let me just get the cap off. Where is it? Uh, oh, oh, oh. So yeah, now guys, we got the tire, the rear tire that was inflated and shit at the beginning. We got a proper pump up at 40 PSI. So one second, uh, let me show it. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty solid and now we can go ahead and stick it on the back tire, so let's go. Whoa. And that one seems proper tight, nice and tight. So, yeah, the tires are fucking ready. So, <laughs> let's move on to the brakes. <laughs> so, yeah, now we got the bike ready, all pumped up, and now we just have to do the brakes. And then we can be on our way. And if you can see just behind me, there's a cat for some reason, but yeah, everything's looking neat. But let's do this, let's do the brakes. As you can see guys, now the bike is ready. I fitted everything so I kind of rebuild it. The bike is um, fixed up, I reckon the chain is working fine, the brakes are working fine. The wheels are attached properly and with the correct PSI. But now let's just give this bad girl a quick ride and <laughs> let's see how she rides. So let's ride maybe.
Now guys, I will tell you how I nearly died by crashing my bike and yeah, let's start the story. So if I remember correctly, it was quite a nice day, the sun was out, the sky was beautiful and there were people just minding their own business, walking along, petting their dogs and then there were plenty of cars just going around, driving around, enjoying the sun. So then, on that day, I was actually riding my bike and I was actually coming from a downhill very fast without any actual protection, so no helmet or anything. And on my left hand side, there was a massive building, so I actually couldn't see any car that was coming up from the T-junction, so I was quite blind. And then I just went super fast and I just crashed my bike on the door side of the car and then I just actually I just fell and I got knocked out and they had to call the ambulance and the next day I just found myself in the hospital with a fucking bandage in my head and yeah the doctor told me I'm a stupid idiot I could have died but I was lucky and yeah that's the story basically and actually one extra thing is the guy that was coming from the T-junction he didn't stop for the stop sign so what the fuck honestly and we just both crashed him like boom and we both fucked up and yeah I actually lost my front wheel and damaged my brakes as well but I got a replacement and yeah so here I am <laughs> fixing the tire and the bike so yeah that's the story Why are you running? So anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with another video. So until then, adios.